My nephew's gonna love these old toys of mine, especially He-Man. <laughs> I'm definitely a cool uncle. <laughs> Stop right there. Frederick Douglass? You gonna give your nephew those white toys? Gee, I hadn't really thought of it. Because you're a sellout. What? What if I told you there was a superpowered action hero just for us? Oh, like Black Panther. <laughs> Are you still on that? No, this is something better. Open your eyes. Meet First Man, true defender of the Moboko City. That's cool. Wrong, that's fire. And First Man has a rich history just like that of our ancestors. One day, in the month of Latufi, First Man was walking along the vast tundra of Aluno City, just casually hunting Clarnex with his bow and Chikata. When suddenly he was set upon by ruthless bandits, they left him nude and frightened, clinging to life. But to their mistake, they left him in the sun. The sun's powers warmed him, and he called out to his gods, Lumukia, Latifa, Shamala'a'a, save me from this heat of the sun. And the gods called back, nope, be still, and become more dark-skinned. And he stayed for nine hours and 10 seconds, no more, no less. And then he rose up, and his muscles were drenched in a thick, oily film, heavily scented but strong. And he was first man. And look right here. Is that Africa on his crotch? You're damn right. That old He-Man story ain't got nothing on that. Maybe I should get two. It'd be crazy not to get a six-pack. After all, he is powered by the sun. Like Superman. Shut the hell up with that. Well, Evan's gonna love these. Mr. Douglas, my nephew ain't never gonna believe this. Yeah, it's me. And what are you doing in my house, Jack? My sister says she didn't have a roommate. Damn, she a lie. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. This is your sister's apartment. I'm a new man, which makes me your uncle. Wait, what the hell did you just say? Yeah, your sister Sheila and I met on blackpeoplemeet.com. So my sister saw a Frederick Douglass picture from 1850 on the internet and swiped right? Swiped right, brother. We don't have that kind of technology. Your sister pushed a he can get it button, and I've been smashing it ever since. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wait, I will say, man, you're the most impressive person she's ever gone out with. Most dudes panic when they find out she has three kids. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, kids? Yeah, three. Like those three over there? Hey. Hey, I, I don't see any... Mr. Douglas? Frederick Douglass trifling. Meet the black people you might want to meet at blackpeoplemeet.com. Okay. Frederick Douglass? Where do you think you're going in those high-tech future space shoes? Are you talking about my Chuck Taylors, Mr. Douglass? I'm on my way to my job. You can't wear those to a job. You gotta dress for the job that you want. Look at me. I'm an abolitionist. And you best believe when I crossed the Mason-Dixon line, I was wearing the finest shoes I could afford. Well, what were you wearing? I was barefoot. I see. No, you don't see. Now you see. Stacy. Stacy Adams? That's right. I got that pair from Stacy herself. I was almost certain Stacy Adams was a man. I'll never forget what she said that day. Frederick, you can't lead our people without shoes. And then she made me shoes to match all my outfits. Cool. Now I can lead our people away from oppression, racial injustice, and inequality. Whoa, 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 whoa. No one said all that. This is the best day of my life. Thanks, Mr. Douglas. Man, ain't nobody gonna believe this. Stacy Adams, they won't save the race, but you'll look sharp. Are you going to bed looking like that? What the? Frederick Douglass? In the flesh. What are you doing in my bedroom? Trying to save you from a very bad hair decision. I'm sorry, I don't understand. I'll put it this way. This afro doesn't get this round by rolling around on pillows. Hmm. Don't you care about your edges? What you need is one of these. <gasps> what is this? The bonnet. <gasps> Technology that hasn't changed since, I don't know, the pilgrims. Wow, so I don't have to do my hair in the morning. Two words for you, nah uh Okay, well, where can I get one of these? Why, any beauty supply store in a black neighborhood. But are these black owned? <laughs> Never. But we do have to support them because, you know, they have black models on the packaging, so. But what if my bonnet comes off? Just tie a scarf underneath it. Wow, double the protection. I'm never going to get married. Thanks, Mr. Douglas. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, uh, before I go, can you uh, give a brother $5 for that bonnet? So you're charging me for the bonnet? Look, I gave you your freedom. What's five bucks between friends for a bonnet? <sighs> yes, well, I'm sorry, I don't have any cash. You really didn't even... Ugh. Fine. Wait, 
Mr. Douglas? <gasps> Ain't nobody gonna believe this. What the, the, where is my purse? All right, I'll see you there. Yes. Frederick Douglas? And where do you think you're going, young man? I'm going to the video game arcade to play Street Fighter II Turbo with my buddy Greg. You know, back in my day, street fighting wasn't a game. You need to learn to defend yourself. From what? From this. Fight! How about some of this? Wedgie! You lose. Oh. Wow, Mr. Douglas, I knew you were an abolitionist, but I didn't know you had hands, man. Oh. Of course I have hands. I'm a black man named Fred, and you need to know how to defend yourself. But how, Mr. Douglas? Wow. Everlast boxing gloves. Wouldn't it make sense to fight with boxing gloves if the person you were fighting had them on, too? <laughs> you tell me. Oh, come on. Fred, do oh. it! Oh. Mr. Douglas? And ain't nobody gonna believe this. Damn right they won't! Sucker punch! Oh, damn, motherfucker, I thought you left! Every last boxing gear. Old fashioned as hell. Available everywhere stuff is sold. The liquor. We gotta go to the liquor store. And the sooner the better, bro. I don't know, pal. You've had a lot to drink. Oh, yeah? Says who? <gasps> I do. George, George Washington, Washington Carver? Carver? No, Frederick Douglas. And I'm disappointed in you. Huh? Sorry, FD. Not you, you. Oh, man. You gotta let your white brother drive drunk? You white folks have to look after each other, like on Airwolf, when he flips his brother's switches. Now take the keys. Oh, I can't drive either. I just ate, like, four caps. Is that bad? Fine. <sighs> Come on. Hop to it! Come on! Remember, I endorsed the designated driver program. You know where I'm from? We don't even drive. Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, Be shit. cool, brothers. Yes. Oh, God. <clears throat> the boy's been drinking, doing the shrooms. Yes, sir. But our friend, abolitionist Frederick Douglass, was driving. Man, ain't nobody gonna believe this. Everybody who's in Galaxia, I just have to figure out who's caused the timeline to get scrambled. Who keeps appearing in timelines that ain't they own? Oh, wow. Oh, no. Frederick Douglass? Frederick Douglass? Frederick Douglass? Frederick Douglass? Frederick Douglass? George, George Washington, Washington Carver? Carver? No. Frederick Douglass. Oh, no. Frederick Douglass? Hello, Sherman. Man, ain't nobody gonna believe this. How could you do this, Frederick Douglass? You're supposed to be a champion of what's right, and yet, brother, you're wrong. I mean, what is all this, this craziness? Is this all about your love of Ray J? No, please. But I do love me some Ray J. But then what's your game? Why are you fooling with space-time, brother? I mean, you always seem so woke in the history books. That this isn't like you, unless... Oh, my God. Yeah? I'm Sherman's clone, and the real Sherman died years ago in a freak accident in a sauna. No. Oh, my God. Unless... You saying that you're wearing a mask and you're the real Sherman? No. No. Oh, okay. I got it. There never was a real Sherman. My whole life took place in a dream within a dream inside Frederick Douglass's mind. No. Oh my God. You're not the real Frederick Douglass. <laughs> Finally figured it out, huh, yes, Sherman? Yes. Eventually, yes. I'm Friedrich, with an H. Good God. And I'm not from the past. I'm from the future. <laughs> Why are you here? Because of this. <gasps> black Consumer Reports. From 2035. This black people in 2035? Yes, and with the black people in 2035, I came back in time to infiltrate the biggest, most popular syndicated dance show in the black community. In quarter three. 
Obviously. 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 But since my appearance is on the show, stocks and Stacey Adams, bonnets, black people meet, and of course, first man toys have shot through the roof. Why did you do the one about drunk driving there? I did that just to throw people like you off my trail. Obviously. 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 Now, Sherman McDaniels, it's time for your final sign off. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't yeah. think so. Okay. Showcase All Stars, assemble. Dutch. Now, you said you was going to practice that, didn't you? You said you was practicing. Okay. Officer Plessy. That's right. Afraid. Pepper spray. Pepper spray. You came here for me. No. I came here for the culture. And also for me. First man! First man! How could you betray me? I fight for what's right in the lights of the sun. And then I mean mug. Bah! Fake Frederick Douglass. We may not be able to beat you individually, but together, brother, we are unstoppable. Mm -hmm. See, what you don't understand is that Sherman Showcase isn't just some TV program. It's a family TV program. <laughs> Shit! Officer Plessy! I shot and killed Frederick Douglass. Now all the real cops will love me. Actually, uh, that wasn't the real Frederick Douglass. Nobody will know. Cornwallis Finch has, since adolescence, taken most of his meals standing up to save time. His favorite author is Baudelaire, and his most prized possession, a miniature hot air balloon pin given to him by his elocution teacher. His first loves are the Dewey Decimal System and a collection of field mice that he bred for sport. He has an extensive collection of ships and bottles and is about to read his eighth novel to the New York Intelligentsia. We all know that in the aftermath of the Civil War, there was an attempt at reconstruction. But those attempts failed. But the query my novel poses is, what if they didn't? I will read now. <sighs> From this day forward, all of you are free men and women. You will receive the following reparations promptly and without delay. Land, money, various goods and sundries, a music box, goggles, and whatever is deemed the most viable form of transportation. Like a mule? Better. Behold, the Flying Mongoose, the finest dirigible in all of African America, equipped with first-class engine rooms, seven well-maintained latrines, cricket field, a well-kept library, a billiards room for recreation, a laboratory for scientific innovation, an artist studio for painting nudes, and a shrine to my father, whose death I'm still dealing with. Yay! Hurrah! Number two engine's down. Use number three. We can't find your music box. Keep looking. Captain, I've always loved you. You're disloyal. 